Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Making this card I used the stamp set Sailing Home and I used the, both yachts and the birds and the sentiment thanks. Yeah that was all. And the die cuts I used the rope and the knot just for decoration really. Oh, and the sentiment die. I use that as well. I've already cut them out. So I don't need to drag up the big shot. I'm changing the colours. For the simple fact is, I've said in a previous video, I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. I don't have any white embossing powder left. And I'm going to be using a silver one. So I am going to do a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. A piece of white cardstock for the inside of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got some designer series paper from the Sailing Home, and this will is cut at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the front. I have cut from the nesting dies that we got from, um, God what are they called? See me and my brain? I never remember. Let's have a look. Dies. I will tell you what they're called when I can find them. Ooh. Oh, there they are. Stitch nested labels. That's what they're called. And I've cut the biggest one. I've also cut two bits of rope to go top and bottom. I've cut a steering wheel. A steering wheel. Oh, didn't have one on here. I've cut a wheel. I've also cut one in white. And a bit of rope, the knot, to go with them. Don't know if I use the wheels. And the sentiment die which will go there first of all though we're going to heat emboss on here move them out of the way so with our verse mark and our embossing body give it a good rub am I doing the right side? Yeah, yeah. That way with our Versa mark and our small yacht. Got plenty of Versa mark on there. We're going to stamp that there over to the left. I had to look at my hand then. To make sure I've got the right way. And then with the big yacht. We're going to stamp that. There. Near enough in the middle. And the birds. And just stamp up there. You can't see where I'm stamping, but I'm nowhere near the boats. They're not touching. I hope. Right, a bit of scrap. Uh, 
and this embossing powder. Now I did say it's silver but it is a glittery silver. It is a silver pearl embossing powder. Try and put this in without making too much mess. Fail. That's nice. I can see one little bit. That shouldn't be there. Right. Stick that to the side. now and heat it up down. A bit bumpy but it doesn't matter. And we're going to stamp the word thanks. Now I have got two just in case I mess up. Make sure that's straight. And stamp it down. Oh, that's lovely. Clean the stamp. Never cleaned the other ones, but quick wipe over as it was only Versamark. Right, let's put this card together. That will go in my box for another time. And stick the paper off first. Oh, my glues. Not going to work. I've got a pin somewhere. Oh, I had a pin somewhere. Don't know where it went. that on there evenly and straight place this one inside I know a lot of you are saying why did she put a white one inside I put it inside to balance the card out So it's not all front heavy. 
that is my reason for doing that. Right, this is going to go on dimensionals there. So let's get them out. all over this just to try and stop it buckling off I would have been better off using um I've got a real of dimension uh you know foam tape I should have used that but never mind right let's put this in the middle and these ropes we're just going to lay one at the top one above it should I say and one below it just use that blue as my guide Same as the bottom. And use the blue again as my guide and try and keep it level with the other one. And this was also stuck on. Don't want too much dimension on it, especially if it's got to be posted. And this I just stuck here. And I will put a tiny dimensional under there. Put that up there. Yeah. Oh, there we have it. A quite quick, easy card once you've got the um, embossing done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cars, put the other one in. Please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.